those of you who've been watching the St. Louis Cardinals and the New York Giants from the Meadowlands, welcome to Louis Armstrong Stadium. And the finals, the women's finals at the moment, between Chris Everett Lloyd and Tracy Austin. Austin won the first game. Well, the first set, it's now 30 love, Everett Lloyd in the second. Pat Summerall here with Virginia Wade and Tony Traber. Love. And you know where I think we're going to see probably both players take some of those floaters in the air and make some volleys. They're not going to keep backing up towards the back wall. You can see on the court 40, 15. where Chris Everett Lloyd is. Uh, there are shadows almost entirely back of the service line. How much of a problem is that, Virginia? It is quite difficult. Uh, I actually thought they were going to change the scoreboard around that cast that shadow there, but I suppose it doesn't really matter. You just get used to it. Game ever glory. There you can see that shadow. Games are one. And the tremendous crowd, which has been sold out, the stadium has for quite some time now. It was yesterday, is today. All kinds of attendance records have already been broken, and they will be broken further with this turnout. Chris Everett Lloyd finally makes an error. That we might be here a while. <laughs> Fifteen love. They're all like that. If you watch Chris moving, she is so economical with her footwork that it might actually pay off in a long match like this. I think Tracy expends a little more energy playing. They are almost carbon wow. copies of one another, the way they play the game, the two-handed backhand, one-handed forehand, their steadiness. And they both actually prefer a harder ball, so I can see them toying between hitting hard to each other to the other's strength, and well, I think that's why the loops come in. 40 love. First service. Game Austin. Although it is a very bright, sunshiny day, as you can tell by those shadows, the lights are already on. And Two as daylight turns one. into darkness and twilight, that'll be a help. Tennis player Don. On the left, New York's Governor Kerry, with a brief look, just checking out the programs. There he was. And now back to the center court at Louis Armstrong Stadium, the heart of this tennis center. 
And everywhere else is quiet except record at which you're looking right now. Here comes Tracy Austin back out to this end to serve from within the shadows to Chris Everett at the other. Austin leads two games to one. Certainly been a good start for Tracy. Uh, she showed some nervousness in her first game yesterday against Martina and she served two doubles and lost her first serve but she got settled in very quickly here. So I think at this stage they are both relaxed and settled. That's the type of thing I've been suggesting. Both players will have those opportunities Love to take 15. that ball in the air and you don't have to make a super volley but run it the opposite direction from your opponent and they're going to be flat out trying to get over and make a good shot. Fifteen. I'm sure we will see a few the majority of the points ending with an error because they hit such long rallies and it's hard to hit a winner against either player. Just out. You know, as a player, uh, it, it is 15, always comforting 30. to know that when you're pulled out of position, if you float the ball back, your opponent is not going to take it in the air because you don't have to try to do something extra special. If your opponent will come in once in a while, then you go for winners up the line or whatever, and you're going to make more mistakes. I've noticed through the tournament there have been a few of these forehands missed from this corner of the court and I think that it's on a very slight slope the court and therefore the ball stays down and you have to get raise it an extra couple of feet to clear the net. Also three errors 40, by Tracy 30. Austin. It is possible that the shadow does just take the change the sighting of the ball. And a break for Tracy. Let cord falls over. Juice. There's no way that that shadow can help. You just think about driving from the bright sun into a tunnel. Right. How long it takes to acclimate yourself to that condition. Ever in fact, we haven't noticed the shadow so much all week because it's been so hot and humid and sort of dull. And this is the sort of day that you wish you'd struggle through all the bad conditions because it's so perfect for playing in. It hits the ground that does not scoot Games forward. It sort of stops. It makes it tougher for your, the player to get to it. It seems to me that part of Tracy's game plan when she can is to try to roll a ball cross court and short to try to pull Chris out of position. I'm sure she will try to do that because that's really her strength. Though, so.